in this video we will be installing the Flexco FMS Secondary Cleaner. Before starting the installation we will confirm that we have all of the cleaner components, the mounting bolt kit, the IOM packet, and all of the required tools. Then once the conveyor is physically locked and tagged out we can begin the installation. Now that we've got the conveyor locked and tagged out and we've picked out a location for our cleaner, we're ready to do the installation. To speed up that process, we're going to use the MST drop bracket. When installing a drop bracket, we want to make sure that it is perpendicular to the belt surface as well as true with the conveyor and plumb. Now we can take a measurement from our bracket to a fixed point on the structure here at 17 inches. We're going to transfer that to the other side so that our bracket on that side will be in the exact same location. Now we need to get a belt reference mark from our belt over to the bracket. We can use our level, applying light pressure upward to remove any cupping on the belt, level it up make a mark and that's where our belt is. Now with the FMS cleaner we're going to measure down four inches and make another mark and that's where the top of our tensioner base will mount. Now we've installed the hardware into our tensioner base and we're ready to mount the tensioner to our drop bracket. We want to make sure that the top flange of our tensioner lines up with the mark that we made four inches down from our belt line. Before completely tightening these fasteners, you want to note that there is adjustability in the pitch of this tensioner. You want to make sure that that is in line with our drop bracket. Once we've secured our tensioner to the drop bracket, we can remove the lock bolt from the cradle clamp Now we're ready to install the pole. We'll reinsert the cradle clamp bolt, finger tight. Now we're going to adjust it left and right to get it centered and set the blade angle okay, towards me. To set the blade angle, we can use the supplied angle gauge. We want the front of this to set on our spring plate and tip, the top will be parallel with the belt. Back a little. Okay. Now we can tighten down the cradle clamp bolt. and the pole set screw on top of the cradle clamp. Now we're ready to adjust the cleaner. Now to adjust the cleaner, we're gonna to refer to our spring length chart. We have 36 inch belt, silver springs, so we're going to measure to three and one eighths of an inch 
from the bottom of this casting to the bottom of this gold piece right here that the spring rests on. We're first going to remove the pin. And then proceed to adjust. We want to do this evenly on both sides. Okay, I've got it there. You good? Now what you're going to have to do is twist it just far enough that the pinhole will line back up. Reinsert the pin. Now you're set up and ready to go here. One thing you want to note is you want to have at least a half of an inch above the top bushing exposed on the guide rod and at least a half inch below the bottom bushing. The last step, make sure that it bounces freely. You should be set up and ready to go.